I... Well, what do you think about the uh, Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere compared to this? Well, well, you don't need a primer. Oh my god, I've loved all these new foundations. This is way better. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. And today, I am going to be doing a foundation review, but not on a new foundation, on a foundation that I have loved for years, but it's kind of been put on the back burner, kind of for the past two-ish years, because so many other great foundations have come out. So I kind of want to revisit and review my girl, the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Foundation, because I get a lot of questions when I upload reviews of new foundations of like well, what do you think about the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere compared to this because I talked about this foundation so many times on my channel have used it so many times on my channel but the funny thing is is I don't have a dedicated review for this so we're circling back around to a really old favorite and I think I still love it I haven't used this foundation in quite some time and so I went online and I was looking at all of the you know the facts you know, and I was like, wow, there's like a lot to this foundation. I just completely forgot. So let's get into this. My skin type, if you are not familiar, you are new. Hi, hello. Please give this video a like and subscribe and stick around. My lights are messed up. Stick around for that. Okay. I have dry skin that's breakout prone. It's very sensitive. I go through bouts of autoimmune rashes on my face. So I have, to, you know, I like a good medium coverage foundation. Well, that is what the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumia gives you. And we'll go over the facts right now. It retails for $49. You get, I believe it's one fluid ounce. One fluid ounce. Today I'm going to be using the shade 2W 1.5 Bisque, which is my tan shade. Currently I do have self tan on. If I I am not tanned. I'm an NC15 and a 1W1 in Laura Mercier foundations. So it says it's a luminous foundation with 15 hours of hydration and weightless medium to full coverage for a perfectly glowing finish in any light. The finish is radiant. Definitely agree with that from what I remember. Skin type, it says it's good for all skin types. The crazy thing, like the highlighted ingredients list was pretty wild to me. Super crystal clear pearl. Features a super fine texture with a flawless flat surface for a light reflecting effect without a chalky look. Silver ear mushroom extract diminishes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and vitamin C. So it has great perks and all of that. I didn't realize that it was a long wear foundation. From what I remember, <laughs> you know, honestly, since getting COVID last year, I feel like I don't remember anything. It's really terrible. From what I remember, this does wear a really long time. So we're going to be using this today, trying this out. I'm going to be putting her through my regular tests of all day wear. I have some other work to do, a workout, and some housework to do at the other house that I purchased. So we're gonna put her through the ringer. Let's go ahead and start the application process. I do not use primers when I review foundations or really ever unless there is a texture to correct, a color to correct, or if I want extra moisture such as, you know, such as like really dry skin days. If you're paying high-end prices for high-end foundations, you don't need a primer. Every single time. Okay. That's beside the point. Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere. Let's get into it. So I am going to use about that much. From what I remember, I feel like this is pretty full coverage. And I do like to use a damp sponge. Oh yeah. All of the mims are coming back. What if I'm like, oh my God, I've loved all these new foundations. This is way better. You know, when it's your job to review products, it gets tricky to like have time to use the things that you love because even on off days, I'm testing products, you know? So I'm really excited to be, you know, revisiting and reviewing. I think I would like to do it too for other products that I love in my collection because I just, mm, recently went through my entire makeup collection and decluttered and tossed out what was bad and all that stuff before the final move out of the, this house. So I really kind of got reintroduced to my favorites. So that's why we're kind of like going down memory lane. I just did a video about the makeup products that I have repurchased for 10 plus years. Now, not all of them were 10 plus years, you know, but most of them were, I've been purchasing the same products for like 10 years. So I did a video on that. 
Also, I do have a video, a review on the Laura Mercier Flawless Weightless Foundation that is new. And I did say in several videos that that's my favorite Laura Mercier foundation. I want to take a quick break and thank today's sponsor, Dossier. Dossier creates amazing fragrances inspired by very expensive designer fragrances. Their fragrances are $30 compared to up to $250, $300 comparatives. You can get an extra 10% off with my code MalloryB10. They also have a 20% off welcome offer. So when you go to check out, you get 20% off and then you can add an extra 10% off with my code MalloryB10. I have been loving these three fragrances. So Dossier just recently launched their own fragrances. I have loved Dossier for so long because you can get affordable fragrances that are inspired by expensive designer fragrances for like a third of the cost and they last just as long and smell exactly like the designer fragrances. Finally, they have their own. They last amazingly and they're very, very unique. Caramelized Lavender and Hazelnut. The Genderless Collection is what this collection is called. This is the one that I am wearing today. It is so rich. The top notes are Salted Caramelized Hazelnut Accord, which I think that's what brings its depth. Middle notes, Lavender, Violet, Orange, Flower, and base notes are Patchouli, Vetiver, Suede, and Amberax, Am Ambroxan? And this just smells so good. I've already applied it today, but you know, why not? I don't need to reapply. I love applying fragrances on the back of my neck. When the fragrances heat up, you can actually smell them. But Caramelized Lavender and Hazelnut, I feel like it's all of my favorite favorite things to smell like in one bottle. So good for summer. It's almost like a grown-up candy with floral in it. The next fragrance that I want to feature today is the Fiery Leather and Rhubarb. Ooh, girl. If you are looking for a very uh, like strong feeling, like it makes you feel strong kind of unisex fragrance, who Fiery Leather and Rhubarb is the one. Top notes are Rhubarb, Nutmeg, and Melon. Middle notes are Geranium, Rose, and Saffron. So spicy and good. Base notes are Vegan Black Leather and Vetiver. It smells so good. It smells like a blend of Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille replicas by the fireplace. Their original perfume, and it is the Genderless Collection. I will have the fragrances linked below. This is Woody Ginger, and it is inspired by Tom Ford. Just Tom Ford for men, okay? It smells so good. And ooh, when you think of what a man smells like, I feel like that's what this smells like. But on me, I feel like it leans a little more warm. On Steven, it smells more like, kind of like cologne aftershave, which I love. The top notes are ginger, lemon, bergamot, and pepper. Middle notes are orange blossom, violet leaves, and cypriol. Base notes, patchouli, amber, cedarwood, tobacco, okay? Do you see a theme in the fragrances that I love? I love masculine fragrances. And don't forget, you can get 10% off with my code MalloryB10. Thank you so much, Dossier, for sponsoring today's video. I will have all of the fragrances I talked about today in the info box below. And don't forget to select Catch at checkout for even further discounts. It's incredible. Thank you so much, Dossier. Let's get back into the video and so far. So what if I'm eat, gonna eat my words with retrying the Flawless Lumiere? It's gorgeous, I'll say that. Definitely medium coverage, even with a damp sponge. I prefer not to use brushes because my skin is so sensitive and it kicks up dry skin and all of that stuff. So, all right, that's pretty decent coverage. And my skin is super glowy. I think when I think of Flawless Lumiere, I'm like, mm, not really long wearing because it is so luminous, but I could be wrong. Like maybe it's just like a, you know, a thing in my head, which it might be. I didn't realize that they promoted it as a long wear foundation. All right. So here is the foundation by itself. Again, oh, wow. I do feel like it really perfected my skin. I have some dryness on my forehead. See what you think. I will be giving you a natural light shots and into the night shots and in between shots, but ooh, I really like it. Of course, I knew I would like it, but I wasn't sure that I would still, in my head, like like my love for it would be the same. So far, it is. Okay, glowy. My pores are, you know, very blurred. I don't feel like it enhances any textures, not clinging on the dryness. All right, so I'm going to let this sit on my face because it does say that it doesn't oxidize. I don't remember thinking that it does. So we'll see. I don't know. I need a refresher from COVID brain to just being able to use a product that I haven't in a while. We need to see. So I'm gonna let this sit on my face. I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and we'll see where we're at with this foundation, but so far, ooh, 
which is pretty. One eternity later. Okay, you guys, I'm back. It's been probably an hour and a half. I filmed another video. I've done some outfit changes and all of that stuff. Oh my gosh, first of all, okay, nothing is powdered down on my face. I only powdered my concealer, which the concealer I use is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer because I figured why not be on theme and I forgot how much I love this gal. Okay, wow, hello. The shade I used is 1W. And then to powder it down, I used for the very first time the Laura Mercier, the new translucent, real flawless luminous perfecting powder. I believe this is going to be taking the place of the candle glow powder. I'm not for sure, but I love the candle glow powder. So I'm like, please don't. This feels more pigmented, a little heavier, a little more coverage than the candle glow. I feel like they're two separate powders. Anyway, I use this for the first time just to set the concealer, nothing else. And I feel like we look flawless. I forgot how beautiful this foundation is. I recently did my top favorite foundations and this wasn't even in there. And I'm like, oh my God, I wish I would have added it because it has been a favorite for years, but I felt like the YSL All Hours really surpassed it. Let me say something. I feel like it gives you the same effect, maybe a tad less coverage, but without fragrance. So if you don't like the fragrance in the All Hours foundation, you'll love the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere. I'm so glad we're doing this, you know, review, rewind and review. Here you go, let's zoom in to the face. Again, the only other coverage product I added was concealer here and powder here. And I love the way this foundation looks. Let's go into some natural light at my other house. We're going to go through a workout. We're going to be doing it all. But so far, I feel like this foundation is really hard to beat. This versus the new Real Flawless foundation. The Real Flawless feels more serum-y. It's a little, it's a satin to matte kind of finish. Flawless Lumiere gives you a glowy finish. I'm so sorry, I forgot about you. What? All right, let's go into some natural light at my other house. Okay, I'm at my new house and you can hear there's things going on because <laughs> even though this is an acre and a half, over an acre and a half, it's in the middle of the city. But here we are, very, very natural sunlight. We're doing some clearing out. If you guys are members on this channel, then you know the deets and everything that's going on. But I'm about to work out here and vlog it, but I really truly forgot how beautiful this foundation is. I'm like wow you know looks like skin and we're gonna see how long it lasts i'm gonna be working out it's probably like 70 degrees and i'm gonna be in the sun so we'll see how this goes we're doing a full body today i missed an entire week of workouts last week because it was i got sick and so we're coming off that and i always like to do like a full body workout Anyway, it's gonna be tough. I probably push myself too hard when I haven't worked out in a while, but as far as the foundation, other than working out and doing all this stuff at the house, I'm loving her. So I'll update you after I work out and then at the end of the night, up close. Look at that. I mean, like, obviously you see fine lines, pores, but it's really blurred, you know? And again, I only set under my eyes, nothing else. This is just the foundation, no primer, no powder, no setting spray. All right, I just got done with my workout. The sun's kind of gone from outside, but ooh, girl, we got some drywall going in the house, but this is how the foundation lasted. I was sweating, I mean, for a straight hour, like really hard outside. Usually I work out and I test these foundations indoors without my air conditioning on. Being outside's a lot different, I feel like. She did a really good job. I've been scratching, itching this, so that definitely is gone. I mainly sweat on my upper lip, period. So I feel like it's rare that a foundation doesn't break up, but I wanna see how it, you know, sets completely, like after my sweat has set. <laughs> I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Um, I think Steven and I are gonna go get snow cones. You know, a little post-workout pick-me-up. There's a new snow cone place, so, you know. Anyway, the foundation looks decent, you know? I feel like I got cakey around my lip, around my nose, but honestly, if it was summertime and I knew I was gonna be outside filming something, which I vlogged a little, I would probably set with powder. It got really hot and I was working out in dress and light, so job but okie dokie on with the rest of the night the, 
All right, it is the end of the night and I am so glad that I did this kind of rewind, review, remember and review. I honestly forgot what I called it at the beginning of the day. That's just how my brain works now. But the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation, I have to say after everything we put it through today, girl, she is a long lasting foundation. I didn't powder it down and <gasps> It looks so good. Now I'm remembering why this would be just such a everyday go-to and like without thought of like reviewing it just because some products are so good you get into this routine of just using them because they make you look good and you just kind of forget to like dedicate a video to it because it's not hot, it's not new, it's not, you know, the thing everybody's buzzing about. If you are looking for a medium to full coverage, radiant finish foundation to give you a youthful, type of look. It is 8 p.m. I believe. This has been on my face all day. Okay, and I forgot to say this, but I preface every foundation review now uh, about working out. Just replace, if you don't work out, just replace it with a hot summer day. That's what the foundation's gonna look like. I like to test, you know, foundations with workouts because some people like to work out and makeup. Some people don't have time to wash their face off before they work out, and then you don't wanna look crazy at the end of the day, period. This lasted through a workout in the direct sun. My pores look just, you guys, that's even worse than them barking. Just the hushing of it all. Pores are blurred. Everything still looks really perfected. I'm really happy with the end of the night results. I wasn't sure how working out in the direct sunlight would fare for this foundation, but the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere, she has stood the test of time. I've loved this foundation for years and I'm so glad that I remembered all of the reasons why I loved it, such as like performance, the way it looks on my dry skin, things like that. So if you haven't tried this foundation yet, after years of me recommending it uh, without a review, definitely I hope this review kind of give, gives you that little nudge to try it because she is a beautiful foundation. And it's really nice to remember staples and products that have been with us for so long because sometimes things get discontinued not because they're terrible but because no one is buying them because there's so much newness especially in the beauty industry not that this is getting discontinued but I don't want it to and because I recently heard that the Mac Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation is getting discontinued and it I think that's just because people weren't buying it it wasn't hot it wasn't new it wasn't like coolest thing out, but it was one of the best performing foundations for TV, everyday wear, and just, you know, overall. So that's just my two cents on that. Let me know what you guys think. Into the night, this is what we're looking like, guys. Hours and working out in the direct sunlight and all of that good stuff. I'm very impressed and I will definitely be going back to using this foundation more often. You have to choose between the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere and the Laura Mercier Real Flawless foundations that's the new one that one is again lighter like a serum it has a kind of like satin to matte finish flawless lumiere medium to full coverage and just gives you a more luminous finish overall so those are the differences I love them both for different reasons anyway so glad we did this dedicated review to an old favorite so if you liked this video please give it a like it lets YouTube know you like my content and you'll see it pop up in your feed and if you haven't already please subscribe we would love to have you here in the wonderful positive community and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video I'm trying to think of what other foundations i have that i haven't dedicated a review to that i absolutely love All right.